Hello, my name is Mario Batali, and today I'm making some of my favorite dishes from the Feast of the Seven Fishes. These are dishes generally based on the cooking of the Neapolitan part of Italy, which is in Campania, and inv invariably they involve seafood. The first dish I'm going to make is called linguine with clams, and it's absolutely simple. It's quick to make. It's really based on the greatness of two things, your main ingredients and the spaghetti that you buy. This is actually linguine. I'm going to put it in with about three tablespoons of salt, and regular boiling water. The most important thing to having boiling water is to understand that it's going to go down for a second when your pasta goes in, but it's going to come right back up. You have to be ready once you put the pasta in to bring everything around so that you're very simply prepared to actually put it into the sauce. Now, the condiment, which is what they call pasta sauce in Italy, condimento, is really all about the actual clams themselves. I'm going to take a little garlic, a little canned tomatoes, some parsley, and white wine. Other than that, there's really nothing else going on in here. And the trick is to understand that and allow the noodles to be the most important part of the dish. And that's a very hard thing for a lot of Americans to understand because they want to put so many things in because they're constantly obsessed with the idea of putting their little imprimatur on the actual dish. The real understanding of really great pasta and what makes it so delicious is understanding that we're really looking for the flavor of that wheat, the noodle itself, to be the most significant flavor in the entire combination. And then other than that, it's just a little bit about what else is going on. We're using New Zealand cockles, which in America are for me the best substitute, where are called vongole verace. These have a delicious flavor, they have the right size, and they also stay in the fridge for a couple of days. So we're gonna put about, I like to put about 10 or 12 clams per person in the pan. The garlic we're going to allow to get a little golden brown, but we're not going to ever allow it to actually turn too dark. We're going to take about a tablespoon of red hot chili flakes. We're going to take some basic tomatoes. You could delete the tomatoes at this point and just have a regular linguine with clams. This is linguine with clams rosso. And we're going to take about a cup of just crushed canned tomatoes. Now when you buy tomatoes, you want to make sure that you buy San Marciano tomatoes from Italy. American tomatoes, Chilean tomatoes, all nice, but not nearly as good as the Italian ones, particularly the ones from San Marciano. Now I like parsley in several ways. What we're gonna take is take some like so and just kinda tear it up. One of the things about Italian cooking is rarely do you do too much on the actual cutting board because in fact the grandmas never use cutting boards and they never wore fancy French chef hats either. They tear things, they pull it apart, maybe they'll cut, they'll do a lot of the things right over the pan just like this. That's the trademark of really great grandma style cooking. Now there's no butter in this at all. There's a little extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna add it at the very last second. The trick to great pasta is understanding that 80% of the cooking is gonna happen in the water, but the last 20% of the cooking is actually gonna happen in the pan. And that's when the two separate ingredients, the noodle and the condiment, come together as one. And that is the true understanding of the greatness of the dish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this. We're gonna have read the package. It'll say whatever, anything from seven minutes to 12 minutes. We're gonna cook it up until about one and a half minutes short of that. Then take it out and cook it in the pasta sauce itself. And that's when it's gonna absorb. What's happening right now is that the pasta is now becoming softer and softer. It's creating an environment where it will start to absorb and absorb even more of the water. And then when it starts to absorb the sauce in here, you'll see that the whole thing comes together and becomes something really special. So I'm gonna start pulling this now. Italians love it quite firm. And when you hear al dente, if someone ever tells you that something's al dente, they're confusing it with the Tuscan poet from right before the Renaissance. So al dente would actually be something that was very soft and actually not very delicious because Dante's been dead for 500 years. Al dente, on the other hand, refers to the tooth, al dente, which means it has a beautiful kind of toothsome punch because it's perfectly cooked. So now you get your noodles in there, and at this point you just settle them into the actual broth itself. And most importantly, realize that there's a lot of work that's gonna happen in the pan that is not gonna really involve your personal touch. So you're just gonna let it sit there and let it do what it's supposed to do. Every now and then you'll give it a little shake like that. But this last minute of cooking involves the absorption of that perfect sauce, that perfect condiment. Now at the very last second, I'm gonna add just a little bit more 
of all of the things that are already in there in their raw state at the last second because that's going to create the flavor spectrum that makes it something that tastes this big as opposed to this big. So right now I'm going to take a little bit more parsley. I'm going to take a little bit more of the chilies. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Off the heat at the last second, we're going to turn it like that, give it two bumps like so, and then we're going to take it to the plate. And that goes like this. Mm -mm. And there you have it, linguine alle vongole, linguine with clams, one of the great dishes of the feast of the seven fishes.